Hey there, and welcome to the very first devlog of the Auto Writer Agent. Now, not too long ago, I created the very first video of the Agent Creator Studio, and we've used the Agent Creator Studio internally at AIA to create a bunch of agents for our other clients. Now, most of these are agents that are being used internally within companies, and some of them are agents that other people are actually selling and making money from them. We've always had the goal of creating our own agent and using it and show you guys the entire process from creating a fully functional agent to distributing it marketing it and actually making money from it by selling it to a bunch of people that want to use these agents now that we're finally in a position where we can do that what better agent to do that than with the auto writer agent so the auto writer agent is a fully autonomous writing system it can create long-winded documents like entire novels books reports biographies whatever long-winded content you'd want to create that ChatGPT or claude just can't create at the moment the auto writer is a complete solution that allows you to do all that stuff using a full autonomous agent so you can think of it as like google docs or microsoft word but where you just chat with an agent and it writes your entire document for you and i'll go ahead and show you a demo of this right now so this is me asking you to write a report about cancer detection methods and i'm telling it that this should be a university grade report i've shown you guys this in the past in the agent creator studio video if you haven't watched that maybe click on it in the top right right now but you can see it goes through step by step and it starts planning how long the report is going to be it thinks this is going to be 14 pages and then it starts to write out the entire report this is the complete result so you can see it's using really good formatting with this document when i put this document in microsoft word it's actually roughly around seven pages but i can't fault the model because it's actually written some pretty high quality content over here but this is the agent in the agent creator studio and the agent creator studio has a really good environment for testing and improving agents but i can't actually distribute an agent like the auto writer directly within the creator studio so the very first thing that i felt like i needed to do was to build a front end for this agent and what I've done here is I've put together a very simple document editor layout. Now, this is actually running as a Next.js project. And I think Next.js is really good because of just how user-friendly it is and how easy it is to manage things as opposed to something like, say, React or Vue, if anybody still uses those things. And the exact text editor layout that I've gone with is the Quill editor. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of the Quill editor because I much prefer editors that use Markdown for formatting. But the Quill editor was the most customizable editor that I could find and as you can see we're sort of building this entire layout as a sort of dark themed layout it was really important that i could find an editor that i could customize we know that google docs has struggled with this for a little while and something like the quill editor is super customizable that i could then go from that light version of it that we had to a sort of darker version of this sort and you can see it still kind of looks the same it still matches the overall aesthetic that we're going for now the quality is great to actually be able to save and retrieve the documents that the users write i needed to set up a back and server and for this i've gone with a simple express server you can see the format that i'm using for the document here is i have both the client and the server in a single folder that will make up the project i picked up this technique from a project that i've worked on in the past and i think it's pretty good for this particular project although it is a little bit tedious to manage with git and whatnot and i'll show you some little tricks that i've used for that there's only two special things that i did with the backend so one of them is you can see over here i'm using mongodb to manage the storage and retrieval of these documents i'm also using socket io to create and call endpoints so socket io is really special because of the structure with which it enables you to create and call endpoints that's why it's really really useful for this particular project with all that sorted what we have now is a front end that allows users to edit their documents it also saves the documents on the local host or pretty much any other mongodb database and we're getting pretty close by this point except we don't yet have a user management system so currently documents are being saved in a single collection with no consideration for who is saving these documents in actual sense what we want is we want every single user that uses the application to have their own user id and then that user id can be used as a bucket to store all their documents in there with that figured out we moved on to the next big task which is creating a sign-in page this is what the sign-in page looks like in code but one of the really big things that i figured out is that we needed to use the aia account that we've already been using for all our services what this means to the end user is that if you've created or used an aia a product in the past so whether it was signing up for our patreon membership or joining the agent creator studio beta which if you haven't done that already be sure to head there and do that right now but if you've already done that what happens is that now you can actually use your same account that you've already created to get access to the auto writer without needing to create a new account over there it also makes it really really easy for us in the future to manage how these accounts are being used because we'll only have a single user list that we can manage in whatever way that we want to to show you this what i'll do in the code is i'll take out this 
this part and now if i head over to the sign in page so what i'll do in the code is i'll just comment out this part and then what i can do now is show you the sign in page so this is a very basic sign in page nothing special over here and then what you can do is you can create an account and enter your information here as well and this allows you to save your information like i said as a new aia account and actually use that with pretty much every other project that we make what's cool is that well if you already have an aia account when you come to the sign in page it immediately takes you to this which is the dashboard that i built so the dashboard is a basic file management dashboard it allows you to create a new file to give it a name and when you actually create the file i'll just call this xyx and then i can actually save that over there and you can see that it actually adds the new files and that is as far as we've got yet i want to end this video on a pretty tricky note which is the file management now if you've already watched my video on the agent creator studio you'll know that the agent creator studio uses a pretty interesting system for file management to give you a glimpse of what that looks like every single agent that we create on the creator studio sort of has a virtual machine the virtual machine is spawned to give the agent the ability to do certain parts of agentic behavior like using the terminal or using file management or being able to actually control a computer directly it's normally is determined by what you put in the settings of the agent so if i select the intelligence over here one of the things that you can see is that it has file access over here this is implemented in the back end by a file manager a new file manager is created for every single agent that runs this means that different agents have different file managers and as such cannot share files it does make sense that in the future we change this functionality for now i'm just interested in getting the auto writer out as soon as possible the auto writer in contrast actually manages files using a single bucket which means when you create a new file if it's your account these files are always going to be stored in the same mongodb database folder and of course this is relevant because we want a single user to have access to all files that it creates but it creates a little bit of contrast between the two systems if every single time you log into the auto writer you create a new agent this means this new agent will have access to different files and when you create this file we actually want you to have access to all the previous files that you've already created and one of the ways that i've come up with to be able to fix this is one every single user of the auto writer is going to have a single dedicated agent unless they decide to create a new one having a single dedicated agent is actually really useful because then we can use the memory within the agent to create an agent that can have long-term memory about the previous things that you've told it but then also being able to switch agents if you actually want to enables the new agents that you create to manage only the files that you want to have access to this functionality is pretty tricky and i know that but it's going to be the functionality that we're going to be working on next within the writer studio so we've done this quite a bit and if you're interested in building your own agent and either developing it into a project or using it internally within your company be sure to head over to the very first link in the description and book a meeting with us on which we can sort of discuss how you'd want to build that agent and how we can make that possible for you but with that out of the way let's go ahead and continue with the video i'll go ahead and cut off this particular devlog here for today if you've enjoyed this and want to know how to create your own agents and sell them to be able to make money from them be sure to head down and hit the subscribe button as my goal is to release these devlogs on a daily basis in addition to that if you haven't checked out the agent creator studio video i'll leave that in the top right corner right now be sure to click on it and learn more about what the agent creator studio can do and i will be releasing some new videos for it as well coming next thanks a bunch for watching and i will catch you in the next one don't forget to head over to our discord and have a fun chat with us we're always chatting in there and discussing what agents could mean and what kind of agents we can create and i will catch you in the next video peace out